this is Tina, welcome back to my channel. So we are here for another one of our mass making sessions. And I said at the last one, we're going to be using some fabric today. So I thought we could make some of these little um, button clustery things, like a little dangly type piece that you can put in your journals. So if you're going to be mass making along with me, you will need to just bring along a bunch of lacy scraps. I mean, you could use fabric, I guess. I haven't really tried any with fabric because um, I think this is probably the only one that I've made. So, so I'm just, you know, bringing along some lace scraps. But, you know, you could try it with fabric. Um, I've also brought along some little flower trims because on this one I had a little flower. Again, that's optional. If you haven't got those, don't worry. I think it would look super pretty you know, without the flowers. I don't think the flower is a necessity or anything, but if you have, then bring those along. I've got a few different ones here. Um, I've also brought along some of this pearly trim. I don't know whether I'm going to manage to actually incorporate this because my sewing is not the best. I'm not quite sure how I would actually, you know, stitch that in and hold it, but I'm going to attempt it. So if you've got any of that type of stuff, then, um, maybe bring that along obviously you're going to need your needle and thread um and then I finished the last one that I did off with some buttons so I've just got some little buttons here ready to use and I've got my scissors I think that's all we're going to need but I might be wrong um so again just like kind of normal I'm going to make a couple just talking you through I mean you know they're pretty self-explanatory but then um we can sort of crack on. So this one here, I actually used one, two, three, four different strands of sort of lace to it. I'm thinking you could probably get away with three, to be fair. I think three is probably actually a better amount to use than four. So I'm going to just take my four strands and I've got this thin sort of stuff here I don't really know what this would be called but it was from an old dress so um, you know really just bring along anything that you've you've got in your stash and I'm just going to cut that down so it's like a skinnyish piece Oops. because obviously you know it was quite thick and I didn't want it overwhelming the whole thing so I might need to just trim that down slightly further just trim it down like that. Okie dokie. And then I'm going to mix that in with some ivory lace. So, in fact, I've got this here, which might look quite pretty. Okay, so all I'm going to do is now just chop this down you know, in a similar length to the other pieces that I've got. So, I'm just going to then just clump them together. Now, I've already knotted my needle and thread, so I'm just going to thread that through, whether or not I've knotted it enough. Oh, yep, it looks like I have. I thought perhaps I hadn't, you know, and the knot would pull straight through, although actually hold on it has pulled straight through it just hadn't um you know hadn't come through on the other one so right hold on not a great start to the video there right so let me just tie a knot again in my thread so <sighs> honestly you think oh I'm going to do this you know and then as soon as you come on at the very first point, it's um, disaster strikes. So, right, hopefully, right, let me just cut that down. Okay, let's try again. I don't know even whether it's going to be big enough now, but what I might do actually is go through the front and try and go through like a couple of the thicker parts of the lace, okay. And then I'm going to just finish this off with 
one of the little flowers. Now this flower is actually white, but I don't think that matters. I have got these grey ones, which actually, I thought the white didn't matter, but actually the grey does look nicer. So I'm just going to place that there. See what buttons I've got here that might look pretty. And I have got a couple of those with those, you know, um, shank type bits on them. So I might try that. Now, I am wondering, I mean, I could probably glue this pearly trim in place. But I'm wondering whether I could actually stitch it. <clears throat> so I'm just going to trim that down. See, like here, where it's got the, you know, the beads like stitched on. I'm going to just attempt to stitch around that. I don't know whether this is going to work. I haven't ever tried doing this. If ever I use the pearly trim, I just glue it on. Um, you know, which I I may in hindsight think I should have done now. But I might have actually grabbed that through the thread, you know, which would be very handy. Let's just go back through. See if I can actually grab that intentionally through that thread. I think I have, you know, that's like a miracle if that's happened. Yay! So that's really cool. That was completely fluke. That wasn't what I was intending on doing in the first place. Right, let's just stitch my flower now. I mean, you could just glue these together, of course. You don't really need to stitch these at all. You know, if you'd prefer to sti uh, stick them, you know, glue them. I'm pretty sure that the glue would be pretty good anyway, to be honest. Um, and do you know what? I'm not going to actually put a button on this, I've just decided, because obviously this flower now is sort of sticking out a little bit from the pearly trim underneath. So I think the button would not really sit very well on top of that. So, you know, again, it's just sort of learning as we go what works best so it might be a case of um pearly trim or a button which of course obviously at first i didn't really kind of know that that would be the case so let's just thread that through there okay and then I'm just going to go like up at the top, weirdly, because um, my fabric's like slipping around quite a lot. So I'm just, oh my gosh, now look what's happened. Right. Okay. So then we can just go through here and tie it off. I mean, the last time that we did some fabric things, it <laughs> it was, um, I did get a lot of comments about things like not in my thread and things like that. So, uh, yes, yeah, so I do appreciate all those tips. I have to say, I'm just really rubbish at um, anything that's a little bit on the precise side. So, for me, I think... Um, I have to stick with my really bodgy kind of methods because I just can't do things that are, you know, at all require a bit of precision, to be honest. Right, there we go. How pretty is that? I love that. It looks gorgeous. So, and that would obviously just glue onto a page here. <clears throat> a page or a tag or something like that. So we've done one. And I do actually prefer it to the original one that I did. So, you know, strangely enough, I think those three strands of fabric actually are a better ratio. So just going to do another one and then I will obviously stop talking about what we're doing because it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't think you really need me waffling on continually about what we're doing. So just going to take this ivory and... I you know, because this is sort of thicker, I'm going to again just trim that down the middle because I want these strands to be quite thin and have sort of a delicate appearance. I don't want them really bulky and thick. So 
I'll just pop that like that and then just see what I'll marry that with. I've got this one here, so I'm going to just, I think, trim that down there. And just trim it sort of again, straight down the middle. It might be that this is still a bit thick. Um, you know, or thicker than I would have wanted, but we'll just try it. This is a little bit thick. Let me see the bit I cut on the other side and see whether that would be better. Yeah, I think that works a little bit better. So again, I'm just going to knot my thread. Oops, oh my gosh, look, let me start again with that knotting of the thread because I don't know whether you saw what happened there, but obviously caught it in my other finger and um, just disaster struck again. So I'll have to make, um, you know, about three knots, I think, to stop it going through that lace. So there we go. I think these are really pretty and, um, you know, they're just a really super simple way of adding a little bit of something to the page without going really mad. Now, just to show you, if you haven't got any of the flowers, then you could just pop a button on, which actually I think looks awesome on its own. I don't even think, you know, the flowers are kind of necessary. So... I'll just stitch this in and then I will show you how this looks. But I think this looks, you know, just as pretty as the ones with the flowers to be to be fair. So again, let me just oops, knock that off at the back. Oh, come on. Oh, this is a bit fiddly. Because of the button, I think, it's like slipping around quite a bit on the surface beneath it. So, I'll just do one more knot. <clears throat> like that. And then just snip that off there. So, just to sort of give you a comparison, that's that one. And that's those two. So if you haven't got the flower trims, personally I think that just looks just as pretty. And actually, I'm just standing up checking that I'm in frame, I'm filming and everything else. I can see how they would have different um, places. You know, sometimes the button would look great, sometimes the flower. It would just depend on the journal that you were making, I think. So if, you know, yeah, if you haven't got the uh, flower trims, just make them with the buttons, I think, uh, equally nice and just as useful or usable so yeah right just again make a knot let me pop these out of the way like that and we'll do one more and then I will just stop um <laughs> stop giving you a running commentary of what we're doing because it's I'm sure not that interesting and I'm sure you can all grasp what we're doing so another thing that I have brought along <clears throat> excuse my throat um is I've got some black lace here which I thought might make a really striking you know nice one so this really is just like a little scrap I mean as you can see it's like got you know pieces sort of hanging off of it um and it's actually knotted up completely at the end so just going to take that little bit off like that and it's all sort of folded over and misshapen as well so just perfect for this type of project because obviously you don't want to use your best supplies or anything like that you do want to just use up complete scraps really so again I'm just going to trim down this ivory and just again straight down the middle I mean to be honest you could experiment you could make some thicker ones I mean, I'm not so sure that 
the thicker ones would look great but you know play around and see what you think because I might be completely wrong and they might look awesome so there we go we're just going to have that one on there and then are we going to marry that with some more ivory or I have got some other black lace that then just merges in a bit much so I don't think I will do that where's that other piece that I just trimmed off that we said was too thick for the one before. So what I might do is just trim this down so it's slightly narrower. So I'll just take a bit off again. And you know, you really don't have to worry here whether it's straight or not straight because it's going to be completely buried in this piece. No one's really going to be able to tell how straight or not straight that piece is so luckily <laughs> luckily for me because my piece is not straight at all and then just wondering whether I would have a flower on this one it's really a shame because I thought I had some um, black flowers and I'm sure that I have but I can't seem to find them anywhere so I might do this one with a little grey flower and a button, I think. So I've got that button there. That's quite nice. Or we'll just try it just with the button. It's quite nice just with the button, but I am going to, I think, just have that button there. So let's just take our thread. <clears throat> I think what I'll do, actually is um, a bit further into the video we'll just make a couple glue in them oops for those guys who you know don't really want to be having to bother with stitching them and we'll just have you know check how they turn out I'm sure that they will turn out absolutely fine you know it will work just as well I'm sure so you might just have to be a bit patient obviously with the glue drying because there'll be several layers but I'm pretty sure that it's going to be just as effective you know I don't think you're even going to see any glue or anything like that particularly if you've got like a button covering it all so that's that now I'm just going to go in again just at the sides a little bit so as I catch all of that lace just in case I've missed any when I was stitching that in so that side and then I'm just going to go in this side oops like that and then in there okay right let's just tie that off like that and obviously with this one, I haven't bothered putting a button in or, oops, or anything. I think it looked really pretty, you know, without the button. I don't think it needed a button or anything. So <clears throat> we just again snip that off. I mean, you could leave those bits up there. I actually think are quite pretty, but I'm just going to tidy them up and snip them off like that. So that one's really nice and striking, isn't it, with the black. Okay, so I think I've probably talked you through enough of what we, you know, what we're doing. So I can now just be quiet and not just sit here rambling on about what we're doing because it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory, really. But yeah, as I say, towards the end, or maybe even once my thread has run out on this, you know, this particular line, then perhaps we'll just try and glue a couple and see how they turn out. As I say, I'm pretty sure that they're gonna be just as good when they're actually glued as when they're stitched. They might turn out even better actually, and I might then think, well, why did I waste my time stitching them at all? Uh, I've also got this bit of coffee um, colored lace, so we could do one with that. So again, just trim it down. So brilliant way for using up scraps. I mean, obviously, you know, most of these aren't really scraps. They're, you know, lengths of lace. But 
if you have got scraps this is absolutely brilliant I'm just cutting that sort of header piece off it's absolutely brilliant because you only need literally that much of the lace so it's a very very small amount and um, you know so it's a really good way to use up some of those bits and pieces so again for this one I'm going to just take this so this one's really beautiful colors it's very um, like coffee and cream latte type type feel about it so there we go and actually I've just spotted something beside me which I'll just pull in in a minute and show you because it just looks awesome and it's just caught my eye so for that one you could have something like that um, that one might look good I did say I was going to stop stop talking about what we're doing didn't I problem is you try and stop talking and then something catches my eye again I have got some um, gold sort of buttons here for if, you know if I wanted something a little bit more fancy could have like a gold one <clears throat> and again what you could do is snip the the shank type part off and then just glue these on I can't actually decide now which button to use there's like too much choice I quite like that one actually yeah I think that one's really nice also got that flower I don't know doesn't go as well as I thought it might right so let's just again stitch these together and then I'll just try and attach that button. Okie dokie. So I hope that everybody's having a good day. I hope that you're managing to get some crafting done. If you're joining and mass making along with me, hope that you're enjoying the process and, um, you know, having a bit of fun. Let me know below what you decided, whether you glued yours or stitched yours. I mean, as I say, once I come to glue these in a minute, I might just think, why did I even bother trying to stitch them? Because uh, the glue might just be so much better and faster. So I am sure it will be for me because I'm certainly no seamstress, but I'm sure for some of you, you know, you find probably sewing really quick and really easy anyway. So it's probably no, no great shakes. I'm going to see that film today um, called Bombshell. It's with Nicole Kidman and Margot Robbie and somebody else. I uh, can't think who the other person is, but anyway, it looks really good. It's, you know, hopefully, gonna, yeah, hopefully going to be really good. I think it's been nominated for some Oscars, but I don't know whether it actually has. I kind of heard that on a program earlier on this week and um, they it just said Oscar talk you know talk talk of being nominated so yeah I don't know whether it actually was in the end but it looks a really good film Nicole Kidman gosh I mean she never seems to age does she I mean you know loads of celebrities I guess don't really seem to age but just in the trailer I thought wow she just looks the same as years ago really She's got straight hair in this. Oops. I remember um, her in that film, Dead Calm, which actually, to be fair, she does look quite young in that film because just happened to watch that film again a few months ago. And um, yeah, she did look really young. So she, I guess she has aged a bit, but wow, she was so beautiful in that film. She just looked so pretty. This real natural sort of beauty about her. Um, yeah, she had all that lovely, gorgeous, red curly hair and just, she was so pretty. But no less pretty now, and with her straight hair, she she looks equally lovely. But I can just remember seeing her in that and thinking, oh gosh, she looks so pretty. Right. So that one, and I just, <laughs> what I spotted when I was making that one was some of my background papers, you know, the freebies. Look at that colour match to that. I'm just going to check that that's even picked up on the camera. Isn't that just perfect to put on there? 
it just looks so 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 pretty oh yeah really really love that looks lovely so that's another one right I've got just a little bit of thread left actually I've probably got enough for another two but we'll see um, and then we can experiment and see about the glue I have got this funny feeling that the glue is going to um, be a bit of a winner actually I kind of think maybe the glue is going to be my preferred method um, I also, this week, I saw 1917, uh, which I know that that one, again, again, I don't know whether this is just, there's talk of it being nominated for Oscars or whether it has been nominated, but yes, went to see that on, um, you know, with the Meerkat movies, so that I could do the buy one, get one free, and took the boys, obviously didn't take my daughter because um, it's a 15. So she would not have obviously got in or enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so that was, it was like a gruelling kind of watch, you know. Um, good, but, oh, just dreadful. Really, um, really atrocious. I mean, yeah, very harsh watch, but, and very, very, very gory, I have to say in a lot of places but it was um it was good okay you know and sometimes you've got to watch things that are a bit more um gritty i guess haven't you i've also got this little rosebud you know you get those little satin rosebuds and i wondered about one of those on on one so i might just pop it on this one because actually i think color wise that might look quite good with this so i'm just going to go through through the whole lot, oops, capturing that, um, you know, rosebud amongst everything. Like that, and just, just go round it a little bit. Like that, okay. These rosebuds, I mean, you know, I bought these ready ready rolled as it were they were complete rosebuds you know I haven't made this or anything you have to be a bit careful because they're very delicate and very easily you can end up unrolling them um, the they sort of press through in the centers and I've done that loads of times so I thought I might have done that while I was stitching it but touch wood it seemed okay now I'm just going to trim this down slightly in the um, width because you can probably see it's really bulky at the side so I'm just going to slim it down slightly so I've moved that out of the way and just go in a bit here like that Oops. there we go that looks better oh no it's still a bit wide at the top actually so let me just take it in slightly more Okay, there we go, that looks pretty. So I mean those rosebuds actually, they're a really nice way to finish it off I think at the top. They look um, really, really pretty don't they? <clears throat> there we go, oops, there we go, just trim that down. Yeah, there's loads of good films coming out. I mean, I guess because it's like, you know, Oscar season. Um, what were the other films that I thought looked really good? There's a film coming out called, I think it's called Richard Jewell. Again, I'm not really too sure whether that's a true story or not. Um, I mean, it kind of looks like it maybe would be, but please don't quote me on that. I might have got that completely wrong. Um, yeah, I don't know whether that's a true story or not, but it looks really good. Um, and I've seen trailers for that. Actually, for weeks, I seem to have been seeing trailers for that one. So I'm going to do a really quite colourless one this time, I think. Um, 
Yes, that looks really good. I'm not quite sure, but I think that comes out towards the end of the month. So, uh, end of January, I think that's coming out. So, looking forward to seeing that one. And what other ones? That, there seem to be just lots and lots that are coming out. There was another one, I can't think now. Oh, um, uh, what's it called? Oh, Just Mercy. Just Mercy. And I think that's actually out this week. Again, I mean, that looks really, a, you know, a hard watch. A good watch, but a hard watch. I'm sure that that's going to be a teary one. Based on a true story, that one. Again, I don't know the true story. You know, I only know what I've seen in the trailer. So I don't know what actually happens by the end of that film. I don't know whether there's a happy ending. Yeah, really don't know. Um, but certainly it looks it looks really good. <clears throat> and it's got that young chap in it. Um, the one who was in the Rocky film, you know, the, the new Rocky films, I think they're called Apollo. I feel like they're called Apollo. Um, it's the guy from that, the young guy. Can't remember now what his name is. Um, anyway, he's pretty handsome and easy on the eye. So, but he's also a really good actor. Um, so he's in that. So I'm looking forward to watching that. So this one again, I might just pop that button on, which I think again looks really pretty on there. So I'll just pop that there. And we'll just stitch that button on through there like that yeah I can't think what other films are coming out um, but I do feel that I've seen quite a lot of trailers for for some good stuff good stuff coming out there we go I'll just knock that, oops, knock that off. Oh, come on. Oh, now look what's happened. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, my uh, needle's completely, completely lost it was in there for a minute. Uh, again, it's because this is now sliding around on the piece of paper beneath because it's got the button on there. So I'm now struggling to knock that off. Come on. Okay. Okie dokie. So that's that one. I think, really like them all. I think they're really pretty. Right, I haven't got much thread left. So rather than re-thread at this point, I might re-thread if we find that the glue is not great, but I'll just pop that to the side and we'll just try just gluing one or two. So again, I've just got that there. Let's just bring a piece of paper in to, uh, you know, to glue it on. <clears throat> uh, what have I got here? Actually, I bought along this pink to have a couple of really striking ones. So uh, let's just chop that down. I mean, actually, you know, the lace needs to be pretty skinny. So it's actually a case of getting your lace skinny enough, really, for these, I find. Uh, I thought I'd bought along a sort of fuchsia coloured flower trim, but I obviously didn't. Well, that's annoying, isn't it? Again, when you think that you've bought something along and then you look and think oh I never did I obviously it was obviously just one of those fleeting thoughts that you know passed my crossed my mind and then then left again I have got a a pale pink so we could use that that's quite pretty <clears throat> and again I might use here maybe a piece of this net so just take that sort of soft, soft net in. Oops. Just cut that down. And 
around if you could put it like that that's quite nice isn't it oh that's quite pretty so I mean really just you know experiment around and see what you think um, right so I'm going to take my three and one obviously hot glue would be fantastic here um, and I have got my new hot glue gun but I've used the glue it came with I think it came with two glue sticks and I keep forgetting to order some new new glue sticks so um, I can't unfortunately use my hot glue now because I haven't really got any glue to use with it but uh, yeah I'm sure that hot glue would be awesome here because it would just be really super quick so what I'm going to do is maybe just trim this down here at the sides a little bit so it's not so fat and my flower then will just cover that glued section a little bit better <clears throat> Just glue that down like that. So really pretty and you know no no different from the stitched ones to be honest you know so you may find that actually gluing is perfectly fine. Just going to trim that down slightly at the side. There we go. So I just need to obviously leave this to dry so it's not actually then going to glue and attach itself to the paper or anything else. Just checking that I'm in frame. So again, I'll just do another one of those coffee coloured ones. <clears throat> and just like last time, I'm going to cut the, the header piece off. Just really so it's less um, of a solid strip down that you know what's essentially quite a delicate piece I don't really want this great big solid piece running down there so by getting rid of that it just keeps it a little bit more more delicate really so again I'll just marry that up with some of that ivory and again might just include a little bit of this net like that And this time I might put the net at the back and then layer it up with the coffee colours and then the ivory. <clears throat> and just cut that down. So I mean that looks pretty doesn't it already? And then just going to um, wipe my glue off a bit because it's a little bit ugh, you know mucky and just clean that end up a little bit oops okay oh, now I've got it stuck on me so I'll just now apply a bit of glue here to stick my lace onto and then a bit on this one There we go. And then again, just like I did with the last one, so let me just get my tissue and just wipe my hand a bit. I'm just going to trim around a little bit the, um, you know, my big end here, so that it's just a little bit neater then for covering up. And again, I mean, I could use that button actually. Quite like that. So, oops. Just attach that button there. Oh my gosh, look at my glue. So aside from the messy, <laughs> the messy thing, the glue is quite a good way to do these. I mean, that's why, again, you know, the hot glue would be fantastic because it would obviously be instant. So these would then be glued straight away. You know which is pretty awesome <clears throat> and would obviously make life <clears throat> quite easy so I'll take another bit of ivory there 
I've also got some of this gorgeous, um, it's like a red, but weirdly not. So yeah, it's like, I don't know what colour I would call this. I mean, clearly it is a red, but you know, it's a shade of red, but it's a bit more like a sort of muted, muted red. But it's quite pretty. So again, just, whoops, pop that down. And then, what should I put behind that? Maybe some, some more of this. It's a bit white. Oh gosh. Maybe this actually. So let me just, oh look, that's handy. There was a bit of glue on that um, piece of card. So it's just attached itself to that, which has worked out handy in this instance because it stopped it from moving around. And just pop that on and then pop my, my ivory piece on. And again, you know, you might kind of be thinking, oh, you know, I'm not sure about that colour. But it's the type of thing that, you know, when you come to make your journal, you will suddenly have a page where this would just look awesome. You know, it would be just the right piece. So don't be deterred, you know, sort of go with it. And eventually you're just going to have the right I don't know, maybe, or even a tag or something that you've made and you just think, oh, I know what would look good on there. And it would just, you know, work wonders kind of on that particular piece. So again, just decide what to top that off with. I mean, that's quite pretty, but it's quite white. Um, oh, I thought I'd bought along sort of a really good selection, but as usual, then when you come to use them, you think, hmm not as great as I'd hoped, you know. I mean, that's okay. It looks a little bit white from some angles, but it looks quite ivory in others. So we'll go for that one. Like that. I must say the glue's just working awesomely. And now I'm just like, why did I, why did I bother with the, <sighs> with the thread? Why did I bother with the thread at all? Because glue, that's definitely much more my thing, you know. Thread, not so much. So, yeah, I like that. And actually, I might make a couple of those because, ridiculous as this sounds, this is all I have of this. So wouldn't that be awesome to actually get rid of this entire piece of fabric? I mean, any normal person who's not a crafter clearly would not even have kept this piece of fabric. They would have just binned it when it... <laughs> when it became this size because they would have just been a normal person wouldn't they and wouldn't have kept it but no obviously being being a crafter I did keep it and um yeah it's probably time it went now can you hear that wind out there it's just awful isn't it really 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 windy so again just trim this one down like that. Oops, I did actually cut that a bit long. I didn't really think how short those bits were, but again, I mean, actually it's quite nice having them, you know, really quite different lengths. I think that looks quite pretty. And, you know, with the risk of just being really boring and unimaginative, I'm just going to do them the same as the other piece because I quite liked those colors in the end um, together. I think they were quite a nice mix. So I'm just going to do them like that. So now I just need to pick, I mean, that's actually quite nice, weirdly. I mean, I wouldn't have, you know, wouldn't have thought of that, but it looks quite good on there. I've got a gold one. It might be a bit in your face, but... What we could do is I'll just take my little, these jewellery metal cutter things, just leaning over to my bin. It's not really a bin, it's just my carrier bag, but you know, just to try and take that off of there. Whoops. And 
so we can use that one for that one. And then for the final one, maybe that one. That looks good, doesn't it? So, oh, this was um, much more of a sort of production line, wasn't it, doing it this way? Because look, I've just got them all lined up and ready to go. So this is probably how I should have done them, was just got all of my laces and just literally had them lined up all the way along here and I could have just been like a you know super whiz and just made them in no time obviously that did not even occur to me so this one I know this sounds a bit strange but I actually quite like it with all the the fabric there hanging out I will just trim this piece because it's kind of curling round but I'm not going to trim it sort of down because I actually think that looks quite nice with the wider than the button kind of effect there so again let's just now glue this one together Oops. again I could just do with attaching that to that piece of paper so as it stops moving around there we go and then the final piece on there. Now where's my wipe? Right, let's just dab that with my wipe. What button was I going to use for that one? I don't even know now. Was I going to use that? I don't know. Oh my gosh, I mean that was like literally two seconds ago. How can I now not remember which button I was actually going to be using? I mean weirdly that orange one actually looks quite nice, which uh, never in a million years would have thought to put the orange one on there, but it actually looks quite good, doesn't it? Well, let's glue this one down and we will attach the the button because I do know which button we're using for this one. So, just pop that down there. Like that. And then this one down here, like that, okay. Right, oof. Let's pop that button on there. Like that. Now, honestly, I mean, how could I now not remember what, what button I was going to use for that? No idea. No idea how I could have forgotten that, but I did also bring a couple of bows along, um, <clears throat> which I thought I could have sort of headed them up with, but oh, again, now I can't find the ivory one. I bought three along an ivory one, a pink polka dot one, and a black one. There's the ivory one. So we could maybe. Maybe finish it with the bow. What do you think? That's maybe just a bit weird. Yeah, that's maybe a little bit on the strange side. Oh, let's just finish it with that button because otherwise I'm just going to be here all day deciding shall I, shan't I, shall I, shan't I. So just go for that. Like that. So again, just peel them off of the card a bit. Like that. And this one. And again, I'm going to just trim this down slightly, not too much, because again, you know, I don't dislike that red coming out behind it, but just a little bit, and maybe just down one side, but leave the other side sort of more overhanging, I think it's quite nice. So that's those. I'm just going to check what the time is. Oops, I now can't actually see what the time is. The lights literally, no, I don't think it's the light. Right, the light was literally catching one of those buttons over the exact spot where the clock was. So I literally just couldn't see um, what the time was. But yeah, um, just got sort of five minutes basically. So I've got this teeny weeny strip here. I'm just going to trim this down in half like that. And then, going to 
to be efficient here and just lay them out ready so as I can hopefully do two two at the same time so this one again as you can see I mean this is quite a curly one it's sort of curling over so we'll just take that and again I just take this one and I'm going to again try and make this one quite a colourless one because obviously you know they're going to be the most versatile ones because then whatever colour my journal they would be able to go in there you know which is um, obviously helpful now what's now happened to that piece oh what is wrong with me there we go oh dear honestly you just put these things down and then within like two seconds they go missing right there's that one and what about the little bit of net so yeah maybe marry it with some net this time so just this tiny bit oops oh the sky has gone like a weird color now so I think it's going to suddenly chuck it down with rain as well as the blowing a gale right so that's that piece and then one more and just trim it down this side oops gosh what a hideous cutting I did there okay right so, and again, I'm just going to glue these. So what I'm going to do, I think, is put the net at the back. So I'll just pop the glue onto the first layer of lace, like that. And then we'll just glue this one on the, on the top. like that okie dokie and I will be I will try and be efficient here and do the same here so again probably want the net at the back with the lace on the top so oops again just glue that down. I think I might have folded that lace over a little bit. Oh well. And then just a little bit more here on the ivory. So looking really pretty. Whoops, really pretty like that. And then again just need to pick something to put at the top. So I've got those white flowers if I can now find them because they're now buried in the pile. Here we go. So again, just bring one of those back in. So we could just finish that off with a white flower there. That's quite pretty, isn't it? Like that. And then for the other one, again, what I'm going to do is just trim this down slightly because it's quite wide there at the top so I'm just going to trim that down there so it just runs down a little bit better and then let's just decide oops oops okay so let's just trim that across the top and again you know I don't mind it being um, overhanging a bit you could just trim around that like that so oops pop that down and then this one do we want to have another white flower do we want a little button just have a look and see what we've got here oh that's very tiny and you know not really too noticeable so that's a bit boring let's just see what we've got in the in the pot here Ah, this is, that's looking good, just perfect. So that, we'll just pop down. 
So we just glue this one down. Perfect. Okay. Oops, very, very mucky now. Okie dokie. So that's those. Let me check the time. Ooh, right, okay, 55 minutes. So we're about normal. Let's do a count up and see how many of these we managed to do. I should have just glued them all rather than trying to stitch because I think that was quicker and definitely for me personally I found that easier. Um, and actually in hindsight I probably should have done all the laying out of the lace and things as we did for the last couple but I didn't really think of that. So we've done one, two, three, four, whoops, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oops, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen we've done because this one obviously was the you know my sort of one that we've done before so 14 which is actually roughly what we normally make in our folded pieces or you know that's what is a good amount to make so I think you know it worked out pretty good actually um and you know we did quite a few so I hope that you like them and I hope that you have fun if you decide to make them have a play around see what else you can put at the top I'm sure some other things would look really awesome too I mean actually I had some um paper flowers to the side and again even the paper flowers look pretty good on there. So, you know, that's another really nice way to finish them off. And again, I mean, if you're not stitching and you're just gluing that all, that's going to be really easy peasy to make. So, yeah, have fun and, um, you know, hope that you enjoy making some. So thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully you'll join me next week for another mass making. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks then. Bye.